Hi everybody, Carrie Gans here again, and it's a beautiful sunny afternoon here on uh, it's a Saturday. Just got back from my son was playing uh, little league in the morning. Then he had a soccer practice, and in five minutes we're off to the batting cage. But I saw this, and it intrigued me, and I wanted to uh, give you an idea what it's all about. If you're bored with your Twitter account, the way your background looks, and you like to make it a little different, a little snazzier, well. Uh, there's a new program called My Tweet Space, and it's free. And you guys know how much I love free. If you've listened to any of my videos, it's a free, uh, free service, and it allows you to change the background on your Twitter account. They'll even do a custom one for fifty-nine dollars. But you know why spend fifty-nine bucks? So here, this is how it works, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I've already registered. When you go to mytweetspace.com. And if, by the way, you have any confusion here, just don't worry about it, because you can always go to the Newbie Phenomenon, which is at Newbie, N-E-W-B-I-E, Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-N-O-N.com. Uh, that's our website where you'll find all this kind of information, hundreds of programs and web services just like this, most of them free, where you can uh, you know, make dramatic changes in your websites, your Twitter, uh, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, and you'll get more information at the end of this video as well. But let's go ahead and show you how to use my tweet space. Well, you'll go to mytweetspace.com and you'll register. I just did it five minutes ago. And then you'll, after you register, you're going to get to, it'll, there's the button that says start. So you'll start this little wizard. And the first thing you're going to do is, if you want, is to upload your photo. Now I did that. I'm not really happy with the photo, but I wanted to get this done for now. I'm going to see if I can't find a better picture. Uh, because you have to find something, then you'll see in a minute why, why I'm saying that. Uh, and all when you click here, it just takes you to your hard drive, and you, you know you scroll around to find which pic, you know where you where you keep your pictures or whatever, and then you go ahead and find whatever it is that you want to put in, and you know click on it and click open, and it goes in, and it'll end up in here. Do the same thing for your company logo, and then you go click to find a background. Now I'm going to suggest that if you're going to use a photo and a photo frame that you go ahead and you make sure you use a background that's got black empty space on the left hand side. I'll show you what I mean. If you use it, and there are lots of backgrounds, so if you're not going to use a photo, you know, go crazy. But if you use something as, as like this, which I'm going to show you now, and you preview it, it gets real busy over here. It looks kind of weird. So, you know, my, and you can always change it, so you, know, you can fool around with this as much as you like. And I went into the vector pack, and I sort of like this one over here. But, you know, you can choose whatever you like. I just think if you're going to do this, do it with something that, you know, we're going to change it now because I want to show you what it looks like and how it changes. And you can see there are all kinds. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. I haven't tried this. Now, you, you can then pick a picture frame, which is where this is going to go into here. So that sort of goes, I guess. So now let's go ahead and then the next thing you would do, if you, you know, you can manually go through this. You don't have to go through this wizard. You can manually go into background and photo frame and then text which you have to do manually you need to put in all your information then you click next and there's more information okay I didn't bother to put all this stuff in and you can put in all more information and, the, and you know, it'll go into your account then you go into graphics and fonts and you can change the border color you can change the fill color you can change the fonts and you can change the background size now they suggest 1800 by 1100 when I did that I'm gonna go back to it now uh, and I'll show you what I mean. And you can play with this, but if you preview it, now you can see how this gets real small. But let's see what it looks like when it goes up on Twitter, because that it looked better before when it went up on Twitter. Now you can change this as often as you like. Now you can auto install it, which I tried, and truthfully it didn't work. But we can try it now to see what happens. And my Twitter account, you put in your name and your password. And let's see if it does it. It says here, you know, Twitter sometimes is very high volume, so it doesn't, it doesn't work. So let's see if it changed it. Now I'm going to go up here and go to my Twitter account. I'm going to refresh it. You can see that I've been playing with this. You know, nothing much happened. Okay. So let's go back and do it manually. So now what I'm going to do is download this file. I'm going to save the file. And I'm going to save it to my hard drive. Okay, everything is finished downloading. The file is 5488 background. I'm going to go ahead and 
open the containing folder so I can see where it is. There it is. You see it says background too because I've, I've done this several times. I'm going to copy that file and I'm going to put it into my desktop. Just because it's easier to find. And check on date modified and there's background too. So I know it's in there. Okay, we'll bring that down. Now let's go over to Twitter. Let me show you how to put it in. So now you can go into your Twitter account. And now I'm in Twitter. Let's close everything down. So this is what it looked like a few minutes ago, because once again, I've been playing with this. If you go into settings, you go into design, okay, and then see it change background image, click on that. Then you're going to browse your hard drive. I'm on my desktop. Let's see if we can find it. I'm just going to go date modified. There's background two. It's in here. Scroll down a little bit and save changes. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, right now you can see there's the background, and it looks a little better here. Now, see, it looks better. The picture, I mean, I'm not thrilled where the picture looks, but it does look a little bit better than it did before. Now, the only trouble is that right now it's not showing all my information because of my screen size. But if someone had a bigger screen size or didn't have all these bra the, all these toolbars up on top like I do, it would show and show more of it. But even this is fine. It shows my website. I wish the picture was bigger, but I'll play with that later on. That's pretty much what, it, you know, what you do. So once again, the, the website that did this is called MyTweetSpace at MyTweetSpace.com. Or you can find this and, and lots of other information, hundreds of programs you know, similar to this, eBooks and reviews. And I even have um, tech support ratings so that if you, you know, you're like this, we get a, pretty much a one because there is no support. Uh, the, you know, and that's an important factor whenever you're looking at this. You can see here there is basically no no support. There's a contact button. Let's see what, what contact does for us. All right, it's an email, basically an email. So they'll get a one rating on uh, the newbie phenomenon. Because now if you had a problem, you'd have to sit and wait for them to respond. And that drives me totally crazy. Um, that's really about it. So that's uh, mytweetspace.com. Go ahead and do it. And it's free, so that's kind of cool. And you have nothing to lose. Um, enjoy it. Have a great time. And we'll see you at the next video.